And this week we have a special guest with us. Nat! <laughs> no. It's Natalie Breen and Spam. So Candy is having her baby this week, so this is why Natalie is here to fill in for her. Mm -hmm. um, let us we know if she does like. as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> honest comments only. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do our faves of 2015. We will get started. Mm -hmm. um, the primer that I use the most is the Smashbox Photo Finish one. Um, it's the green one for color correcting, and I have the small one because I'm broke. Um, <laughs> it's actually cheaper It is to buy the smaller one. Which is really weird. Yeah. Um, it's really gross, too. Um, but I use this one because my face is super, super red. I know a lot of people don't like this one because it's like kind of silicone-y feeling, but it fills my pores in, which is really nice. Okay, my favorite primer is the Smashbox Water Primer. Of course, I use it all the time and it's almost out there. But don't worry, I have another one. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like... Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if it works better than my other <laughs> ones. I just like that it sprays on, and I like that better than having to touch my face, so. Um, but I've been liking this one, the vitamin E Intense Dry, it's not. It's, not okay. <laughs> um, it's from the body shop, and it's really good. And then I've been using this one too, it's like the seaweed mattifying day cream. I've been putting this on my tattoos too, because it works really well. The vitamin E one is supposed to be for like really dry skin, which I have, yes. as you can vouch for me. And then the seaweed one is supposed to be for like um, combination oily. Oh, well, so that's weird. And the foundation I use is L'Oreal True Match in the shade W1, which I think the is the light lightest shade. one you can go. <laughs> it's a uh, porcelain. Um, I've been trying to like buy other ones because this one's, I mean, it's good, but it's kind of like chalky and drying. But it's good. I mean, I don't really for the like, price. For the price, Probably. it's not bad. Yeah. It's like under twenty bucks, and like, you'd think it'd be cheaper for Lori. I was just <laughs> like, saying, what? Yeah, I know. It's I just not got five dollars. No, I got it on sale. I think Slater had it for me. It was like on sale for like seventeen dollars or something. I know. What? Right? I know, but it's good, and it lasts me a long time. Like one of these lasts me like six months. Um, and then my concealer of the year is the instant age rewind by maybelline oh, yeah, yeah. um yeah i use this for my under eye brightening along with my laura mercier secret brightening powder which is also a favorite i only got it like last week but i <laughs> but i've loved, loved it, it. For all of 2015 oh, yes it's included okay <laughs> um but i really like it it's like really soft and after i put it on if i like rub my face it's very very soft the uh, powder that I have been using forever is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I used to use it in like the loose powder formation. I'm trying to get it to like not reflect the light. Um, <laughs> like the Laura Mercier one, but they discontinued that. So I've just been using, oh Jesus. I've been using this one, which is almost empty, which is good. And it's um, translucent, which is good because even the lightest powders are too dark for my skin. So <laughs> the Anastasia Beverly Hills one here. Um, I've been using this since the summer, I think, is when I got it. It's, like, it's good. I just got recently for Christmas the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm kind of liking that one a little bit better because I obviously have pale skin, so it's a little lighter for me. But, I mean, this one's good, too. It's kind of expensive because, like, for the size that you get, they're not, they're not super big. Yeah. Like, it's all right. And it's not as pigmented. It's right? not as pigmented. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Definitely not as pigmented as the Kat Von D one, but since I've been using this one for longer, I decided to bring this one in. Oh, uh, we're gonna do blushes now. My favorite is from NARS. Me too. Hers as well. Twinsies. Um, mine is Deep Throat. I've been using it a lot. I usually like um, NARS Orgasm. I like to put that on like when I'm going out, but for every day, I like using this one. Um, I'm not big on blush because my face, my face is like super flushed to begin with. I have really, really red cheeks, which is why I use the color and cor uh, color correcting uh, primer. But the one that I have is what is it? Dolce Vita, and it's kind of like darker. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'll swatch it. It's like it's like a darker pink in comparison to Tams, which you cannot <laughs> even visible see on my skin. <laughs> Um, I mean, this one's good. I like it. It's kind of like it blends nice into a contour because it's kind of darker. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I, I'm not really big on blush anyway because, like I said, my, my face is so red. Like, my cheeks are crazy red. So, it's. I don't so, my favorite eyeliner of the year is um, Sephora's Wink It, Colorful Wink It Felt Liner. 
Um, I used to always use a Kat Von D one, and I actually bought it again just to compare. Which Kat Von really, D one? The tattoo liner. <laughs> um, not that one. Um, no one ever. Because they're kind of similar. This one is a dupe of the Stila one, um, which is supposed to be really good. And I like the Stila one. I have it in blue. Yeah, like this one is really good. I don't know. It's cheap, and I'm like, it stays on, and it lasts so much longer than the Kat Von D one. Like that one go for me goes in like weeks, and I've had this for like two months. Yeah, like, I used to really use the Kat Von D pencil or uh, what is it, tattoo liner? Yeah, the one that's like, like looks like a pen. That one, yeah. Wasn't a fan of it. I feel like it dries out really, really fast. Like you said, it goes it goes by so fast. But I've had this one, which is by Kat Von D two. It's discontinued, um, but it's like just a regular like pot with like a like a brush, which I really like. But I've been trying to find something that's similar, so I'm almost out of this. Um, I have a Sephora one that's kind of similar, like same style, but it's a felt tip brush, which I don't like as much as the bristles. So, I mean, if anyone has any recommendations, help me out. Put them at the bottom. <laughs> um, and of course, I mentioned this in every video, but I have really short lashes, and my favorite um, mascara is the Bourjois Paris um, Volume volumizer two-step process ultra black you can get it at shepherd's drug mart um natalie is very scared of it fat this is fat <laughs> ass bottle <laughs> and this is the second part they have a similar one at mac i think i might try it looks almost the same so i just want to see if they're like is it the similar? one that looks like the giant lipstick that you bought <laughs> no that's the other one that one was good but this one's better i've noticed that was intimidating um, my favorite mascara always and forever is Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, I've used a bunch of like every mascara ever. And I really like this one. I also really like um, Benefit Their Real, which I usually layer on top of this, but I'm out of it right now and I don't want to rebuy it. So I've just been using this, which is really good. I don't really have, I wouldn't say I have short lashes, but like no. this is really good for volumizing, which I don't think, I mean, my lashes aren't like thick or anything, so I really like this one for that. This is the Burgundy Time Sign, the holiday palette from MAC, and I use it every day for the past three weeks that I bought it. Um, I love it, I love the burgundy colors, and I use it with my Naked Basics palette, which I just use every day as well. Um, yeah. Um, so I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer before, but any. Anything that is a on. lifetime favorite for me. Look, so yeah, <laughs> like it's, it shouldn't even be in yeah. this. I've been using this since I was like what, like seventeen or something. I was going to say seven. I was like, all right, like seven years that's old. That's a lie. Um, yeah. So I mean, I know they changed the packaging recently because I just have like the old one that's like this. Yeah, mine's a little nicer. Yeah, it's, a it's like nicer. a brush. I prefer it's that though. Than yours. <laughs> That's what I said. Um, no, that one, I like that better. I don't like the new one with the wand. That's how it used to be, too. It used to come in, like, a little thing that actually looked like a potion bottle, because it's called Primer Potion. Yeah, yeah. And it used to have, like, the wand, but then I think they switched it to, like, the squeezy thing, because, like, you were losing product with the wand. Yeah. But now since they put it like, back. Yeah. But it's, like, a back. different wand. Yeah. But it's, like... Um, so I use this with like every every eyeshadow ever um, and then the eyeshadow that I've used most this year is the Urban Decay Vice palette it's like last year's Vice palette I think it's Vice 3 um, it's so big this? I know it's massive um, I've hit pan on so many of the colors I think I've used this like every single yeah, yeah. I've used <laughs> this like, every single day for the entire year like Obsessed. It has everything. It has like neutrals, it has like jewel tones, which I'm a fan of. I like to use, you know, use the brighter colors. <laughs> For lipstick, my favorite oh my this year, I use probably every day, and it goes with everything I find, um, is Velvet Teddy. And it looks, it's weird. Like anytime it I put it like on. to the bone. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, it's I've, like I've never finished a lipstick ever, and this is about to be done. Like, <laughs> I use it for everything, I don't know. It's super drying, but like I just put um, Vaseline on with it. Um, but it goes with everything. I wear it, and it looks different a lot. Sometimes it's like nude, and then sometimes it's kind of like really dark. Pinky? Oh. Yeah, well sometimes that too, but it goes with everything, so I don't mind. Um, I have a toss-up between two lipsticks. I didn't really wear too many lip products this year. I was working like a plethora of jobs that were kind of weird to wear lipstick to. Um, but like I would say one of my all-time favorites is this one, which is MAC Rebel. This is the lowest lipstick I have. Like, I can't <laughs> <give it to laughs> me. 
<laughs> that you have that. Like, so, I mean, I've had this for a couple years now, two or three, I think. Um, I just really like it. I think it looks really nice with my skin tone. It's kind of purpley and then it fades really nicely. So if you are, you know, like out eating or drinking or whatever, um, it fades to a nice pink so it doesn't look like your lipstick's gone. Let me tell you though, the lip glass is not the same thing. Yeah, literally, we talk about this all the time. We're so obsessed with that lipstick. And she's like, ew, like the glass is so ugly. Yeah, I have the lip gloss. They used to love, like, be obsessed with lip glosses. And then everyone's like, Marilla's really good. And I bought it and it was, it's not great. No, it's a it's really a different. Nice, it's very it's a, it's so really much lighter. nice color. Like, here. Yeah, because I mean, it, I can look like that. No, it's it like, like that. it's a top color there. It's like kind of purpley pink or yeah, on the purple side. It's like berry. And yeah. like, the one I have is not. And then when it fades, like I said, it fades to like a really nice pink. Like sometimes I just put it on a little bit and rub oh, it yeah. away and then put, I have my Carmex with me too. So I use this like every single day. It's the best lip balm ever. No, it's not the Howie D one is. <laughs> no one, no <laughs> one likes your Howie D. Okay? No, it's so Honestly, good. This is the best. I put it under every lipstick. I use um, a Lush lip scrub almost every single day and then put this on over top of it um, before I put on any lipstick. So this is really good too. And then my other favorite lipstick, which I just got recently, but I've been wearing it every day since I got it, is this Lime Crime um, Velveteen in the shade Riot. It's really, really great. It's a really nice neutral. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop one that I got in Brink, I think is the color. Um, but this one is a very true matte. I'm wearing it today. Uh, um, for brushes, my favorite for 2015 is this Real Techniques contour brush, but I use it for everything. Like, literally, you can use it for contouring, for I use it for my under eye powder. Um, what else do I use it for? Highlights. Like, you can basically use it for anything except your lips, I would say. Like, you could use <laughs> really? it Really? You can't? <laughs> you probably could. My I don't know. Like, you could, Shh. maybe. I haven't tried, okay. but it's really we good. Should it was like at the end of the video. Episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial next week. Um, I think I bought it in a set for, with like four brushes, and it was like $12, so super cheap. Um, I have, I would say, three, I guess. We both. This is a both of our favorites. Yeah, it's but a beauty my blender. My favorite is pink. Yeah, mine's black. Because <laughs> I'm not about that pink life. Um, it's really fat right now because I just used it this morning. But beauty blender, great for foundation. I wet mine like crazy. I know Tam doesn't use spritzers down with primer, right? I, yeah, I did, but I find it better. Yeah, like I soak it under the top and then like I wring it out, which is what I find best for me. For uh, my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia... Um, yeah, this is the brow powder in dark brown. Um, I'm almost completely out of this and I use this brush with it It's just like an old Mary Kay brush. My grandma got it for me um, <laughs> My mom loves Mary Kay <laughs> She would, she would um, It's just like a little angle brush. I don't know if you can see it's just really really tiny um, And then the other brush that I have been loving is this one. It's super old It's from Tokidoki and it's this little girl with a donut ears and it's another angle brush And I really like it for doing like eyeshadow under the eye um, and just like kind of like smoking it out so this is what I've been using for that and my last favorite is the makeup forever sensi <laughs> eye makeup remover this is the best for like I don't use it to take off my I used makeup to have it. I, used to have I don't it. use it to take off my makeup at night because that's just a waste because it's freaking expensive but um, I it's really good if you make like a mistake while you're doing your makeup and you take mm -hmm. it off and it dries right away like really nicely and like it's still soft so this one like I've had this for like three years <laughs> and I still have so much left because I only use it for that but this was like $15 I so. got that okay so that's it for this week um we'd like to thank natalie for coming in today and sharing her favorite products and just a last minute shout out to candy hopefully her and her baby are gonna go through a great delivery mm -hmm. and we'll see her back next week yeah bye, bye. i haven't cut my hair since 1959 <laughs> <laughs> okay Okay, I'm gonna start off. And I'm Candy. <laughs> I'm Nandy. <laughs> <laughs>